Hi, I'm going to share you an excerpt from my book, Landscapes of a Heart, Whispers of a Soul. Chapter 13, Inspirational Whispers. This, the title of this section is Stubborn Soul. The stupid neither forgive nor forget. The naive forgives and forgets. The wise forgives but do not forget, Thomas says. Stubbornness can be both be an asset and a liability. It can be a very good quality not to be pushed around, or it can be a worse attitude rebelling against correction. Learning with stubborn mind goes two ways. For us, we learn to deal with a stubborn person in a multiple possibility angle of approach, using a very good psychological foresight of what might be the reaction. For the stubborn heart itself, learning from situations can take some more time than being on the fast lane of complacency or obedience. With a stubborn streak, learning from mistakes can give a harder impact. Every living soul has a stubborn streak, and when used creatively with a pinch of wit and wisdom, for any common good, then it serves as a good quality in a character. Notorious for its stubbornness, extreme rudeness, and dumb ass, all of this attributed to a damn kid, Jack and Mule. What about smart, intelligent, and good strategies involved on a chess game, where self-preservation matters? In a game of chess, stubbornness is a virtue, as well as donkeys have strong sense of self-preservation. Does that apply if one is extremely stubborn? Is the main reason behind it is one's self-preservation, or is it of high pride? Stubbornness can creatively be a quality instead of irritating deficiency. That's all. Have a nice day and thank you for sharing this post. For more of my writing, visit angelicahopes.com and odysseyofaheart.com.